So this is the Ariang performance, as it's known. Uh, it takes place every year, but this year is clearly much, much bigger uh, than, than many because it is 60 years since the end of the Korean War. That's why we've been invited to North Korea. And, of course, what you're seeing here is what the North Korean government wants us to see, why they've invited us here, uh, and uh, really uh, the reason that we've been brought here. But, of course, what we're not able to see is what's going on outside Pyongyang. The only people that get to live in the city uh, are the, uh, the most loyal uh, of the North Korean citizens. 60, 70 miles away from here, there is a, a prison camp, uh, and it's perhaps in those prison camps there are double the number of people that were in the stadium today. Uh, but it's a sort of... It sort of seems like uh, propaganda in overdrive. I have to say the people that we've managed to speak to seem genuinely happy. They seem genuinely loyal. Kim Jong-un was there today, and this, I suppose, is all about him propping up uh, his own legitimacy. I can't imagine how he must have felt with all those people uh, bowing to him, uh, celebrating with him, uh, and performing for him. Uh, that's what they were doing there. Uh, and it went on for about two hours. We filed in. It took us about two hours to get in. Uh, another hour or so to get out afterwards. Uh, an extreme demonstration uh, of loyalty in this country where it's really incredibly, incredibly hard to get under the skin of it.